So I met a girl a couple weeks ago who's in a wheelchair. Now wheelchairs are great for pavement and flat surfaces, but not so much for off-road adventures. I secretly built this off-road wheelchair by tying two electric bikes together with the seat in the center, kind of like a chariot of sorts. It goes 20 miles an hour with a range of about 20 miles, which is pretty cool. And this video shows how I put the whole thing together. Let's get started. Zach Nelson from the YouTube channel Jerry Rig Everything did a series of four videos showing the process of making a custom off-road e-bike wheelchair for his paralyzed friend, Cambry. And I thought, not only is it a great design, but it was also for a great cause. But all four videos combined ran for 35 minutes and were spread over two different YouTube channels. So I approached Zach and asked him, could I do a story on this e-bike wheelchair and cut it down to a more bite-sized video? And Zach approved. But just quickly, let me just go over what Zach does on Jerry Rig Everything. Zach seems to specialize in mobile phone videos, more specifically durability testing and customization. One of the coolest things he does with various phones is removing the rear cover and scraping off the paintwork, leaving a clear cover over the back of the phone, showing off all the internals of the phone like some sort of see-through watch. But anyway, back to the wheelchair. When Zach came up with this concept of making an off-road e-bike wheelchair, it was to allow his friend Cambry to experience something most people in wheelchairs don't get to do, which is to go off-road, such as across grass in parks, up gravel and rocky walking trails, and even up and down gutters with ease. Cambry did have the use of an e-bike with training wheels, but it lacked the safety and stability of a wide four-wheeled platform. And there is always the concern, what if Cambry toppled over and no one was around to help her up? But this four-wheel e-bike is much more stable and safer. But Zach did not want to change too much of the original bike's engineered structure, as a lot of time and effort went into the bike's engineering. He just wanted to combine them both, while keeping the bike's original rigidity and safety, but combining two of them to add stability. He started off by joining the two bikes at the central point, where the cranks are located, and from there built up a seating frame that Cambry would eventually sit on. Once that was done, Zach worked on the steering system of the bike, joining both bikes with a pivot system attached to the front forks. Once the steering was done, he turned the two handlebars on their sides, facing one end of the handlebars towards where Cambry would sit, so she would have access to both accelerators and brake systems. The engineering needed to join both bikes was fairly simple and only took one week, and both bike motors and throttles still run independently from each other. But once you are seated in the middle, they are fairly easy to operate. Once the bike was fully assembled, Zach and his brother took it for a test ride over various terrain to figure out its shortcomings, such as going uphill over loose gravel would cause the back wheels to slip and lose traction. But they determined deflating the tyres a little and replacing the stock tyres with more knobby tyres would resolve that problem. Now you might be wondering like I was, why are the brake levers pointing up and not down? Zach explained, the bike needed to have a low centre of gravity and to be easy for Cambry to use. This meant lowering the handlebars down to use while seated, but left no room for the brake levers to be placed normally, hence they faced up to clear the frame. So now comes the day of the reveal. Cambry was asked to come out and do some filming on her old e-bike, but was then presented with her new bike. This is Cambry, and she is in a wheelchair. Here's the frame of my chair. So normally when Cambry gets out of her car, she sets the frame out, and then each of the wheels are independent of each other, and just kind of like get on each of the sides of the chair. How long have you been doing this? 13 years. And then how do you get from the car into the chair? Very carefully. <laughs> and now we're ready. We've taken this bike out a couple times. What is something you like about having this bike? I like the freedom it gives because I'm on the road with everyone else on their bikes and it's not like I'm strapped down and disabled. Like I'm just on top of a bike like everyone else. I have to balance a little bit with my upper body and it's a lot faster than a recumbent bike my shoulders don't get tired, so that's fun. But if you could change something about it, what would you fix? Because I know when we took it out the one time, I was nervous that like, if you were to tip over, you'd kind of like stranded. I just want to go faster. 
you want to go faster. That's all I change. So, she wants to go faster. There's something I haven't told you yet about the bike. So, come on over here. So you know when I've been uh, at my office welding stuff? Wait, you gotta see this. This is unreal. <laughs> what is happening right now? Hey, Cambry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. This is really cool. How do you like it? I'm stoked. This is <laughs> <laughs> really cool. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Can I just like crawl in? Yeah. Okay. This is why you're asking so many questions. Yeah, about your wheelchair and stuff. Okay. I probably should put this cushion on it. Yes. Oh. Feet go there, obviously. We okay. can put some Velcro straps to keep them down a little bit later. You have your miles per hour and everything just like the other bike. Um, and it's already on, but then you just turn this a little bit. So brakes are these okay. things up here on the top. So I just operate with my thumb, but you can just let go of the throttle and then... Okay. Got it. Nothing like this exists. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, you guys are awesome. Um, this is why you didn't show me anything that you were welding, you were showing me other stuff. Uh -huh. I can, yeah, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> So how was it? Phenomenal. <laughs> That's good. It's a whole new level of freedom. Well, I love it. <laughs> thanks Tom for watching. Huge thanks to Cambry for uh, being my test driver for this thing. And uh, we'll see you around. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.